Battlefield 1943 is the last true World War II experience we had in a Battlefield game, at least in my opinion. You know, many people feel like Battlefield 5 doesn't really have that World War II feeling to it, it doesn't really capture that greedy nature of World War II, and I tend to agree with that, so I thought this is the perfect opportunity to revisit Battlefield 1943. I already made a video about this game like over 9 months ago, but I wanted to make another one, so I've dusted off my old fat PS3 and I played a couple of matches. It's still a lot of fun actually, and believe it or not, this game, which is gonna be 10 years old this year, still has an active player base, despite the fact that it's a download only game exclusive for the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. Now a couple of things you need to know about Battlefield 1943. It isn't a full-fledged Battlefield game and that's why it was only $15 when it was first released. Basically Battlefield 1943 is a Battlefield game but stripped down to its core. You have one game mode which is Conquest. Well, technically you also have air superiority, but nobody plays that. It's focused on the Pacific theater of the Second World War, so it's the US against the Japanese Imperial Army. You have three main maps which consist of very iconic locations, namely Iwo Jima, Guadalcanal and Wake Island. You only have three classes, you have unlimited ammo, so the grenade spam can be pretty ridiculous at times. You do have vehicles like planes, tanks, jeeps and boats, and you do have destruction because this game runs on the original Frostbite engine, the same engine that Battlefield Bad Company 1 was built on. Let's play a couple of games and have some fun. So this is gonna be a mellow, relaxed kind of gameplay, uh, no heavy editing this time, I just wanna relax a little bit with this game. Which is honestly pretty difficult because this game is 9 years old. I think it's gonna be 10 years old very soon. Oh, look at that. We promoted to Staff Sergeant Gold. But yeah, this, this game is pretty old. There are still people playing this game. This is on the PlayStation 3. As you can see, the graphics are a little bit outdated. Not gonna lie, but I mean, what do you expect? This is a... This game... 2009, you know how long ago that is? It's actually crazy. So anyway, let's kill a couple of people. There we go. I don't know what happened with the explosions, but we got our first kill. I like it so far, let's push up. What I like about Battlefield 1943... ...is that there are gods in this game. No, I, I don't like that, I don't like that at all. But what I do like about this game is that this is Battlefield, you know, but simplified. You have three classes, anti-vehicle, anti-infantry and sniper. There we go. Oh, he threw a grenade. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, this game is not too well balanced. There are a lot of, like, spawn traps in this game and the grenade spam is out of control. Come on, please get him. There we go. There we go. We... <laughs> We got him with the katana, as you can see, the, the, the sidearms are not too good in this game. Okay, so one of my favorite things to do in this game is actually call in the uh, bomber crew or whatever you want to call it. I'll show you right now. Oh, there's a guy actually inside this thing right here. So you can actually control the, these, uh, these, nuts. these uh, bombers and you can get some crazy multi-kills. For now, let's hop in this plane. Hello. Yeah, I knew it. Somebody behind me. They, these guys... Okay, well, let's try that again. We have a plane right here. Too late, buddy. Playing with the old PlayStation 3 controller, by the way, is really weird. Okay, there we go. Oh, there we go. Nice aerial kill. I'll take that, you know. That was actually the first time I've ever killed somebody in a plane in this game. Okay, there's a guy right there. We actually missed that. Come on, you can't... Don't do this to me. Oh, there we go, headshot. Well, we exchanged, but I got the headshot, he got the body shot. I'll take it. Let's move on, let's capture this flag right here. There are a couple of enemies there, as you can see on the minimap. Yeah, we are already dead. There we go, we actually got him! That's nice. The quick one too. There's another guy right here. He's in there. So I'm gonna wait for him to come out. Oh, this guy tried to knife me, but he didn't for some reason, and now we got the kill. Is the guy still there? Come on, peek me, man. Okay, I'm just gonna go balls to the walls. Let's go. I'm telling you guys, these people are keep spawning in front of me, and that's one of the things that makes this game kind of unplayable sometimes. 
Okay, there's a guy right here, so let's drop some C4. There we go! <laughs> it didn't went as planned, but we still got it. There we go, okay. There we go, now... We actually still got him, wow, we actually own that guy. And now it's our flag, so we actually did it pretty well. We got a bit lucky, don't get me wrong. Now we are the infantry, I have no idea why. This is pr probably the most underpowered class in this game, because... The Thompson, or the submachine guns in this game are so weak, it's actually not even funny anymore. You'll see it in a minute. There you go, a couple of hit markers. No kill. We do get a bazooka though. And there we go, vehicle destroyed, that's pretty nice. I'll take it. Okay, so what we're gonna do right now is we're not gonna capture this flag, we're gonna make our way over to the bombing area, we're gonna call some bombers in, and hopefully get some sweet multi-kills. It's actually a lot of fun flying these things, or controlling these things, you can't really fly them, but you'll see. Okay, so we're calling them in. There we go. Now we need to pick carefully where we want to go. I don't know, this is gonna be a tricky one, but we'll see. That guy on the bridge is gonna get destroyed. If we miss this, that's really unfortunate. We actually missed it, are you kidding me? There we go, Iwo Jima. One of the most iconic maps for any World War II shooter. Okay, we're gonna play as a Japanese scout. Let's get some nice headshots in, because why not? Kill assist, that should be my kill, but whatever. That's a hit. Kill assist yet again. There we go, that's a nice headshot. Sniping, if you if you get the hang of it, it's actually a lot of fun in this game, surprisingly. There's another guy right here, let's get another headshot. That's a miss? I can't see where his head is. How is that a miss? That should be, that should be a hit. There we go, that's a headshot. There's a guy yet again. There we go, headshot. Oh, that's so sweet, that's so satisfying. He's almost dead. There we go. Two body shots. Okay, let's get this guy. There we go, that's a nice kill. Let's reload really quick. Okay, this guy, this tank's out to get me. Okay, there are a couple people down there, so why not? There we go. <laughs> we actually got another kill. Choose your destiny. Flawless victory. Choose your destiny. Die, please. There we go. I don't know what he tried to do. Probably see for me, but it didn't really work. There we go. Just noob tube them, that's way easier than actually shooting them. The thing with this game is you have unlimited ammo, so after a while, if you run out of grenades and rifle grenades, you replenish them. And you can just grenade spam the entire game. Let's try to get the bombers to get some kills, because last time we pretty much failed. Hopefully we don't get destroyed by the enemy crew. We are, you see those three planes, they're gonna take us down before we can get a kill. Please don't, let me at least get the tank. No, please, please. No, 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 what is happening? Yeah, we're not gonna make it. Are you actually kidding me? That's so unfortunate. Of course, we didn't even get the chance. You know what, I'll show a clip of, uh, of an actual strafing run I did earlier, but I didn't record live commentary, so. It's pretty cool. There is a guy up here. There we go. That's a nice little kill. Oh, we stole his kill. I'm sorry, bro. Come on. 
there we go. That moment where you can aim better with a tank in Battlefield 1943 than in Battlefield 5, but maybe that's just me. Okay, there are two tanks in this map, uh, in this area. One is there, maybe we can get him. There we go, nice! Let's move up, I saw a second tank, maybe he's already destroyed. There we go, double kill. Can we get him? There we go! Okay, so the airport is that way. Noted. No scope. Can we get that tank? Yep, we got him. Easy. There we go. That should have been... Yeah, there we go. Another headshot. That's what I like to see. There's an enemy tank right here. Hopefully he doesn't see me. I think he does. I'm pinned down like crazy. Please die! Die! There we go! <laughs> That's so awkward! Oh my god. Yeah, I'm dead. We spawned right behind him and we shot a couple bullets in the back of his head, so... He should die. There we go. Finally a normal kill. This is probably gonna be our last game because not gonna lie, the clunky mechanics are starting to take its toll on my like mood. I can't you, you can't play old games like these for too long, in my opinion at least. I really like the aesthetics of this game though, it just it has this nice feeling to it. Imagine if this game or Bad Company 2 will get a remaster soon, that would be amazing on the new Frostbite engine. Okay, so this game is almost over. The game, yeah, the game is already over. Maybe we can get a long range kill, quickly. Nope, too late. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I wanted to go back, you know, to an actual World War II feeling Battlefield game and I think Battlefield 1943 is the most recent one. I already made a video about a year ago actually but I still hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more live commentaries or tell me what you want to see on the channel in the comments down below. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already and i see you guys next time.